Over the past two decades, China's financial services industry has grown tremendously, making it one of the largest markets in the world. However, the industry is unique due to the dominant influence of Guanxi, a Chinese concept of purposeful social networking that involves the exchange of favors. Guanxi shapes the behaviors and business decisions of different economic agents in the financial world with both potential benefits and undesirable consequences. How does Guanxi impact the management activities and the firm performances? How human interactions in China's financial sector are driven by Guanxi connections? We sought to answer these questions in this COHK Business School research white paper. Financial analysts provide important market insights and data to help investors make informed decisions. Fund managers depend heavily on financial analysts for this information. Our study discovered that fund managers who have guanxi ties with financial analysts are more likely to receive support from those analysts, hold stocks that the analysts cover, and earn higher returns from those holdings. Meanwhile, fund managers are more likely to support analysts who have guanxi ties with them in star analyst elections, and fund companies tend to give trading commissions to brokerages whose analysts have guanxi connections with their fund managers. During IPOs, firms hire investment banks and audit firms to certify information disclosed to investors. The close collaboration between bankers and auditors during this process can create opportunities for social ties to deepen. We found that Guanxi connections increase the likelihood that bankers and auditors participate in the same IPO deal. Such engagement can undermine IPO audit quality and the interest of IPO firms. However, auditors may benefit from their social ties with bankers by commanding higher fee premiums and landing more IPO audit businesses. Auditors play an important role as gatekeepers who ensure the quality of financial reports. The social connections between auditors and the audit committee members can either help by sharing more information or hurt by making auditors less careful and biased. Our study found that the negative effects are stronger. More specifically, auditors with these connections are less likely to find problems in financial reports, and when they do, they don't report them as seriously. We also found that the analysts with the social ties to firm management have earlier access to bad news than unconnected analysts. After acquiring the negative information, connected analysts tend to share it with their clients privately while remaining silent in public. While connected analysts play an important role in enhancing transparency and monitor management, if they convey negative information privately, it may undermine investor confidence and hinder market growth. While guanxi ties are known to facilitate information sharing, our study suggests that the drawbacks of these connections often outweigh their benefits. Investors, regulators, audit firms, and audit committees should take into account the possible impact of the guanxi factor when making important decisions, formulating policies, or allocating resources. Mandatory disclosure of guanxi connections could be helpful, and it might be wise to avoid the partners who have guanxi ties with certain economic agents. To learn more about this and other topics in our research white paper series, visit China Business Knowledge at COHK.